pretty much threw Byron the camera and gave him a quick 411 on how to run it. We set up and just had hopes that we were going to be able to draw this turkey. I threw a couple of yelps his way, got his attention, and you know, bam, here he comes. You know, we're celebrating, we're excited, we've all got our turkey on the ground, and you know, we're out there doing our hero shot by Byron's turkey. Well, we've still got another bird off in the distance that's still gobbling pretty well. So we made the decision, let's just leave things behind, grab a decoy or two, and let's just move towards this bird. So we came up to this sand road that was between us and this turkey that was gobbling, and we decided it would be a great place to set up what we've got. We just finished up Byron's hunt, got his bird done. We were leaving, heard this other bird gobble. We're gonna slip over, get set up on him, see what we can do. Of course, thing that could happen is let's not kill him, so we're just gonna work him. We need the next out here. Hopefully you can see that come right to us. We'll see. We weren't there, I bet, two, three minutes. And across this road, you know, here this turkey comes. You know, he ended up poking in on a silent, looking for that hen. And the problem was, you know, he was within 20 yards of us across this road. But where we were at, we were up above the road where the decoy was. So he wasn't able to spot our avian XJ. And he ended up walking parallel with the road, got back behind us, and I just had my hopes that he was going to cross down into the road and possibly see the decoy and still come our way. He decided to cross the road. Once he got down in that sand road, I threw a couple of yelps his way, got his attention, and you know, bam, here he comes. You know, he strikes up into strut. He's coming our direction, but you know, poor old Byron, he's in a heck of a mess. You know, he spun around 180 degrees with the camera on this turkey, and as the bird's working our way, he's going to pass right next to us, and Byron's going to have to try to keep that turkey in frame, in focus, and try not to let that turkey spot us. When this turkey passed to the side of us, he was probably within four or five steps. You know, he was all over us, but you know, he was on a mission. He didn't care that we were there. Um, his only thought was, why is this Jake on my turf?
allowing this turkey to whoop up on my Jake and peck him around 57 times. I checked with Byron, made sure he was on him. I was ready to take my shot. Again, I was close. So I knew if I made the slightest whiff, I could miss this bird at six steps. So you know, I bared down on the gun and was ready to take my shot and hopefully be tagged out in South Dakota. We are literally, we are literally 200 yards from where Byron just killed his turkey. And I got my first, if you want to call it a double, not much time in between. We were finishing up that hunt and this bird gobbled. We moved on him, got set up. As you could see, he slipped around us, skirted us, spitting and drumming, got in the road, saw the avian X, strutted right down the road. Pretty sure, Byron said we got it on footage, came right by us. I'm talking, folks, he was five yards from us when he walked by. Both Byron had to turn, I had to get my gun on him well. He got to that decoy, what a show. Let's get out of here, we're gonna check him out, see what he's got. I'm well, I'm uh, pretty much speechless. In all seriousness, I've never experienced this type of turkey hunt where I'm from, southern Indiana. I mean, yeah, we get on birds, we double, but for Chris to get his this morning, and then Byron and I to be working together just maybe an hour ago to him kill his, the footage we got coming to the Avian X, and then we, as, we're, uh, as we're finishing up, this bird gobbles, and we move on him, and we got on this road, this sand road, and as you saw, he skirted up around us, got behind us, and Byron, he had to spin almost a 180 to keep him in, uh, in the frame, and when he got on this road, a couple yelps, he looked this way, saw the Avian X, and it's history from there. You saw what happened. Um, got a good beat down on the decoy. I left everything the way it was. Roy's still sitting here after his beating. The stake is over there. Um, it's, it's just amazing. We've been in Mission, South Dakota, and Rosebud, South Dakota for just a little over 24 hours, and we have, what, four birds on the ground. Yeah. So um, I'm tagged out now. This is my second. Chris and Byron, they've both killed one. Um, we still got a few days left to hunt, so we're gonna see what'll happen. Um, his, uh, his noggin got rocked a little bit, the Jeb's choke, I hit just a little bit low, he was in so close, I mean, eight steps, probably, and I hit him a grunt low, but it really peppered his neck pretty good, um, these Jeb's chokes, these avian X decoys, if you're looking for a good hunt, get it, you get those two combinations, you're going to put some, uh, turkeys in the back of the truck, I'm telling you, he's got a decent beard, not too bad. His spurs, he's just a two-year-old. And again, same situation. He's got these little nub two-year-old spurs. This decoy is not intimidating. All right, they got the full strut. Then you got the uh, quarter strut Jake. Didn't pose intimidation to him whatsoever. He came right to it. So I'm just, I'm just tickled to death. Tagged out in South Dakota. And I'm gonna be going back to Indiana, happy man. Thank you.